Hey everybody, Money back playing some more No Man's Sky as we have been lately. Uh, I'm burning up in the heat on a moon in a new galaxy called Rack Who It Rack Rack Out Rack Out. Uh, we've got three planets and two moons to discover. We've discovered two moons and two planets, which means there's another planet out there. Whoa, it might be that guy. Uh, big crazy news. The reason why I'm bringing you in on this planet moon, even it's not a planet or a planet moon, it's just a moon, uh, is, well, <clears throat> it's, it's, it's cool, man. It's, even though it's arid, it's got some of the coolest creatures, and when I find him, I'm gonna show him to you, it's got this guy, which is a mix between some, like, Care Bear, Ewok, Cuddle Monster thing. I don't know what it is, there happens to be none around me right now, but then I look down and noticed this uh, world's covered in donuts as well. So, Rock Candy Mountain, I, I guess, is what this place is. But let's move on, on this planet. It's one of the coolest ones that I've had. I can't, I'm calling it a planet again, I know it's a moon. Just to go see some more of the creatures and the coolness that is this planet. Really weird, arid planet with big red balls. Um, it's just what it is. It's 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 cool though. Uh, the the solar system still doesn't have a place to call home. Uh, but there was one planet. Was it a planet? Oh, hold on. Did I have something under here? No, I think it was looking at something on the other side of the planet. Again, with the planet comment. Uh, but. Uh, just a cool one, man. I had to bring you guys in. Here's what it looked like. Extreme Exterminate. Uh, basically a big planet with uh, very angry uh, sentinels. Whatever those little guys are, they're angry and they attack. Moon of Damp. Uh, basically just a very, very rainy, not fun moon. And Dead Planet of Gold. It's truly dead planet, not one living creature. But boy, was it just covered in gold. Nice find. So, uh, it's, it's been a nice stop in this system, but I don't think there's any anything else really to show off. The reason I'm in this system is the mission told me to come here because it's a Corvax system. And this is where I picked up the scientist that I brought up very quickly last episode. Uh, but we're going to get more into it this time as far as looking at... Uh, fixing up our base, hopefully finding a new home. I was hoping to do that. Uh, but I do have the supplies needed for my mission for the scientist, which is scientific research. All I have to do is return to him because I have what I need. Uh, and then also I need to search an abandoned building for data. Uh, both of those things should be pretty simple. And here is a cool ruin. Like I said, these aren't showing up so easy with, uh... Oh, really? You're gonna put me all the way over here? With the question mark scanning that we used to get now to find a lot more stuff on the planets, I feel like I need to be using beacons and such. Wow, this is lots of drop-offs surrounded by emerald. That's alright, we're gonna come up here, learn some language, and uh, see if we can get some good luck with this big cube here. Learn the language. Learn the language. There we go. Knowledge stone. Probable. Okay. Oh, we got something else here. Control. Probable control. And then maybe one more. Yeah, here we go. Uncommon. Probable control. Now, what's really odd is I saw those little guys all over the place, and I was just like, these guys are too cute, too cool. Why am I not recording? And I knew, as soon as I started recording, they would all run into their holes and are nowhere to be found. Quite interesting, to be honest. These guys are uh, a little shy. That's okay. It actually says that in their description that they're shy, so it must know that uh, I've got the recording software out and about. Memories of Guguma Lada. I stand next to the powerful glow of the monolith. All right. 
Uh, studying ancient ruins when suddenly my multi-tool begins to heat up. I can see wisps of a strange blue energy being pulled in from the obelisk and surrounding my combat attachments. If I pull the trigger, the exhaust will automatically open, allowing this strange ethereal substance into the body of my equipment. Ooh. Hmm. I could locate a portal with my Corvax casing, which I have two of. I want to wait for that for a good planet uh, and explore one of these portals. Have not done that yet on my own or with you all, so that'll definitely happen live together. Uh, dismiss the attentions of the monolith. No, let's pull the trigger. We're going for it. The blue energy fills my multi-tool. It somehow installs a new technology blueprint. I was kind of hoping for that. All right, beam coolant system. Now, that actually said it installed it. Beam coolant system. Oh, 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 something else I need to talk about. Starship, remember I was talking about how I can put the technology things on there? They also revamped the exosuit. So not only are we stuck with the 48 slots of exosuit general inventory, I can now start spending money again on upgrades and upgrade things like uh, more cargo capacity in the exosuit high capacity. I've only been able to purchase one, and then I'm also going to be able to unlock more technology slots. So things that I have to do. So I'm glad that they... Uh, created some updates that really expand the gameplay. Uh, the, another big thing that I haven't even been able to show off yet, next time I hit up a space station, is uh, collecting missions. And the missions are basically things that we're doing already on our own. Uh, and it just gives us money or items or reputation or 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 lots of things like that. Uh, maybe it gives us ore. I don't know. Uh, but we, we got things to do here. I am going to check on my discoveries. Four of nine species discovered. What I would really like to do is discover another species on this planet before we take off. And also show off some of those common shy guys. Uh, funny little creatures they are. Oh. See, that question mark is actually for something on the other side of the planet. Moon, even. Which, today was the total solar eclipse that uh, crossed over most of the United States. And uh, I'm lucky enough to be out in Oregon and caught that this morning bright and early. Boy, was that impressive. I didn't get any good uh, photographs myself. I just figured there's going to be plenty of good video and all that uh, about that. Uh, I did get those cool eclipse glasses. I've never experienced that uh, before. And a very cool experience. So if ever you are going to have one of those total eclipses, or just a partial eclipse even, they've got these specialty eclipse glasses that are uh, quite interesting. And uh, provides a really cool look. Oh, looks like we are going to have another... Uh, ...ruin here. So this, this moon is covered in ruins. Oh, hello. And and weird looking monsters right in front of me. Ooh, this is cool looking. Maybe some guys are down in down below somewhere. What is this? Iridium? Iridium comes in these weird ooh, cubes. Those are big. Come on. Yes, got you. Active, mature, herbivores, okay. Those guys seem, yep, look, they, they just flew right off into the distance. Didn't give me any chance to uh, really look at them more than that quick look-see. Anyway, I'm looking for those little guys. I can't believe it, they were everywhere on this planet. Now I can't find them anywhere. Uh, okay, here we go, remnants. Of something, something. Ayupata. Ayup ATM Roquel. The unspeaking, unmoving Atlas interface inflicted an insignificance upon the Gek emiss emissaries that showed them their role within the expanse of infinity. It forced recognition of their true place in a limitless universe. The Gek saw their folly. Their heads bowed in shame. 
for the miscalculations they had wrought. Well, you know the Gek and their calculations. Well, seek help with the language. We can at least get something out of this. My knowledge of the Corvax Convergence. Okay, we know the word for trade for the robot people, which is pretty cool. Whoa, seeing as how they are men of science or robots of science or things of science, whatever we want to call them. And, uh, yep, 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 nothing else new here. I was hoping for a little bit more, but we got some knowledge. Knowledge is power. Not enough fuel in the... Sorry. Good thing we brought our Pluto. Pluto power. All right, here we go. Get on out of here. Uh, I would like to go check out the final planet, which I don't believe is... This one. I don't think so. Man, that's a big planet. Where I'm wondering is, whoa, where is the actual planet that I'm missing? I've gone to both of these moons. We are now out in space. Extreme exterminate. It was very dangerous. Not fun at all. This is dead planet of gold in the distance. There is another moon uh, on the other side of this big planet. But I was hoping that the other planet would be just somewhere right around here. But it doesn't look like it is. So we, I just need to get away from these guys and get a better view. Uh, what we can do... It's not this guy, is it? I've been there. Oh, unknown, undiscovered planet. It's the big guy that we started at. Okay, dokily. There we go. Pulse engines engaged. And let's see, how are we doing on iron? We have no fuel in the inventory. So next time, before we run out, because we're going to need it, I'm going to want to stop in one of these iron patches. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be just short. We're going to get pretty close. But remember, when we flew out here, we also ran out of fuel. So I know it's a little bit... A little bit of that. I'm going to do an L3 to uh, throw down a scan. At least we know what we're going to run into. Gold, copper, iridium. Whoa. Whoa. That's what those crazy noises are all about. Uh, do we have space in our ship? Okay, we do. We got the bulbs that we need. We are well taken care of. Oh, too far away. There we go. Get all this iron. Fill up our pulse engines. Space battles are pretty cool. Uh, I've got to get a little bit more into that. I did do one, oh, one battle uh, in between these two episodes. And uh, took out two people and then had a flee because this ship is not prepped and ready for battle. I mean, overheating problems, the weapons aren't that great. And uh, basically, we're meant for exploring, but that's okay. Once you get a freighter, we can actually have multiple ships. That'll be fun. Looking forward to that. All right, scanners down. Breaking through the atmosphere here. Oop, what do we got up there? Arrive in 12 minutes. Anything else? So you used to question mark for every little thing. I'm struggling to tell, is that resources or is that... Yes. Good old Heridium. Weird blue blobs of material. Ah, there we go. Something to land on. Now once we land here... Look at all the oil stains from the other ships. Love the dynamic lighting. Enjoy that my ship actually casts uh, light. Uh, these headlights actually show light on the ground and such. Uh, it's always a nice little effect. I mean, I guess that's should be that way. Uh, but it's good to know that it should be and it is. Oh, see? The blue crystals in front of me right there. Chrysonite. But I need the advanced. Watch this. 
advanced mining laser required. So we really need to get that going. Because that is driving me crazy. However, I do believe that is going to have something to do with building out the station. So it looks like there is zero of seven creatures. Oh, there's something. There's some weird special dinosaur. Dinosaurs in space. Uh, which is actually kind of funny. I did just watch... A uh, Doctor Who episode where the dinosaurs were in space. So fancy that timing. Alright, platinum. Always like more platinum. Oh, I don't know what you are. Good. Mr. Jet. I know what you are now. I keep an eye on uh, the ground for shadows to see if anything's flying over me. Okay, you're special. Yes, you are. Okay. Uh, interacted enough with the local life forms. And this is radiated. I mean, I just, it's been so long since I've been on a planet that didn't have some sort of problem, like weather or something. Where's the nice green happy planets? Where's my nice M class planet? Oh. Uh, these are totally worth getting in trouble for because there's always good blueprints behind. So really, you're going to tell me that my weapon is depleted right when I need it. Okay, power canister, bolt caster, we're going to refill these with carbon, and even the mining tool. Always use carbon if you can. Oh yeah. That's good stuff. All right, bolt casters. Take these guys out. Where are you? Good. Well played, Zinc. Ooh, you got another friend somewhere. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. No, 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 you don't. Where are you? Can't hide from me. Whew. You can try. Ouch. All right, so we're in. Let's see if we can shut down the crazy alarms and everything going on in here. It's going to be some number code or challenging riddle. A small creature is scrambling through the wiring below me. Woken by the security alert, its choice of nesting location was unwise. I can't regain control until it has been removed from the system. Um... Initiate power surge? Flush? Production? It's just power surge. Let's just kill the thing. I'm not going to leave the creature alone. A smell of roasted meat wafts up from the systems below. The system is back online. Sweet! So we got lovely technology on how to create suspension fluid. Um, I, know, I know that. That's not difficult. Uh, that was not cool for us. Unfortunately, this was a, 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 a bunk bunker. It had nothing good. Uh, it had stuff that's really, like, basic. Really basic that I, I think is, like, out-of-box basic. So, you know what? I'm done with this system. We are going to get up. We are going to get out and uh, go find a new home. So, I'm glad you guys got to, like, finish off some of the look-sees on these planets here. Really wanted you guys to see that weird little creature, but uh, it was not, not to have happen. Not to have happen. Okay, galaxy map. I want to go to Bowenthon, 143 light years away, but it is supposedly moving us towards the next Atlas station, which is our goal. So here we go, into warp. And I'll see you guys when we get to the new system. Alright, new system is here. Looks like two... What is it? Uh, two planets, two moons. Incoming message. Frequency source unknown. I want to move. Holding still didn't work out too well. People are after us. Okay, unknown planet. Let's do a nice scan here. Solenium. Emerald. Okay. 
copper, basics, normal stuff. We've got another planet here. Fungal mold, gold, iridium. Okay, okay. What else do we got? Whoa, okay, we've got the station right here, because you usually get plopped out right by the station. Now what's interesting to me is, that's a planet. This is a planet. Where are the moons? Are the moons way out somewhere? Am I not seeing them? You know what I can do? So let's actually use our guide here. Uh, oh, no. Can't yet. Oh, I know what I can do. This guy. This should show me... Uh, it's hard to get in good. This big planet right there has one moon orbiting up close and another one far away. And then that farther away planet doesn't have anything around it. Mm, okay, cool. I'm almost thinking of skipping this place entirely. It just doesn't look that interesting to me. Which I haven't done any of that yet, where I just totally skip it. Uh, okay. Fiery planet. So that's going to be hot. And a noxious planet. That's just going to be gross. So, let's get out of here. Let's really get out of here. We're going to move right on to the Atlas Station. Okay. Uh, and we're going to warp. A lot more planets. A lot more moons, hopefully something good for us. That was the first system right there that we've ever jumped to and just left. Ooh. Atlas interface, we got another one of those to mess with. Unknown planet in the distance, let's get its uh, composition here. Decaying nuclear planet. Okay, a little scan down here. Warped 12 times. We are now a surveyor working on those milestones. Okay. Hyperborean planet. That might be worth something. What we got out here? Looks a little arid. Tune your starship communicator to the mystery signal. Alright. Uh, starship communicator. Mystery signal. Incoming transmission. Source. Unknown. You are not alone. Please identify yourselves. Yeah, yourself. I'm this person. Um, okay, let's identify ourselves. You left me. Why did you? Uh, tell them you didn't understand? It's getting interesting. Of course you'd say that. Of course you'd... Just like the others. Okay. Ask who you were speaking to. Oh. Now they don't talk. I'm answering his questions, they don't answer mine. Tune your ship. Okay, well we did the communicator. Good for that guy. Now I think it's time to... get through some of this. Ooh, that planet looks good. Have we looked at this one? No. Cloud cover looks... Lifeless planet, really? Lame. Okay, lifeless planet. Sounds like a good place for me to go live in a lifeless planet. Uh, wonder what the problem is there. Well, you don't know until you go try, right? Uh, so we're gonna go try. Ooh, 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 you can't hide from me. Unknown planet. Okay, isotopic planet. So many, so many. Here we go. Let's go with a bunch of iron. Wow. That place is awesome. You know what? We're here. Let's do the Atlas thing first. And boost. Have I looked at that planet? Yes. Okay. Boost! Atlas interface. Here we go, here we go, I'm excited! Stranger's coordinates. Ooh, I actually know their coordinates. Oh. Ok, 
Okay, okay. A mostly harmless bounty hunter is after me. Well, I'm on the uh, mission of the Atlas, so that guy's got to leave me alone. Ooh, hold on. Talk about a mood killer. But look at this. Where it awakenings find us, hear us. Locate to the coordinates sent to you uh, by looking for the mission icon on your HUD and the compass. Okay, 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 okay. We're doing that anyway. So it looks like we've got a lot to do in this galaxy, not just uh, figure out what the big weird Atlas orb is all about. All right, I love how it brings... Hey! Here it actually does the automatic I'm going to throw you out of your ship deal. You've learned... What? That's cool. Are these all knowledge? What? Knowledge? Can you teach me something? Oh, uh, no? Okay. What, only that one had special meaning? All right, let's see. Wow. All got to do cool stuff, huh? Warp cell? Cool, what are you? Warp cell? I'll take it. Stare into the light. All right, are you guys ready? Let's interact. Cool Molu Lab Untre Walib Lab Ufer Robart Hate Dukplan. Okay. Okay. The Atlas called me to this interface, and yet its purpose remains unclear. It demands worship, it demands obedience, it welcomes me, it knows what I am. It offers the gift of true understanding. But why? Why does such power and knowledge crave submission? It knows my thoughts before I know them myself. It knows what I will do. What will I do? The Alice asks me to follow its path. Uh, except ma uh, milestone, pathfinder, or above. Okay, let's do it. I will accept this. The sky is deep and full of wonders, and the path to enlightenment opens to me. Okay, nice. So I chose to truly go for this. All right, Atlas seed containing zonally shifted quasi-stellar substrate. Okay, warning. Do not allow Matrix to commune with the dimensional space. With this dimensional space. Okay. Crafting requirements, 200 iridium for a unique valuable curiosity. Captured node. Uh, I can build one of those. Not that it probably matters, but look, if I go here... I can build it. Atlas Seed can... Okay. Another one of those things, kind of like the Atlas Stone. I'm not... exactly sure what to do with these. Okay. I guess things still to learn. If I knew it all, it'd be no fun. So we got something else from an Atlas Stone place, but I am very curious about... The Find Us, Hear Us, Awakenings mission. Uh, so that is what I'm going to be heading on to. As you can see from that exclamation point right there. Stranger's Coordinates. It's on a planet. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing next episode. I will be bringing you guys in as we make our landing. But until next time, that's it. That's my time this time. Next time, maybe more time. I don't know. Time will tell. See you all, and thanks for following along this episode. Keep on gaming, everybody. Peace.